Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am teacher Ahmed and today's lesson is about traditional garments for ninth grade module number two. So let's get started. Okay guys now open your students book page twelve. Traditional garments, al malabis al taqlidiyah. So here we have three pictures and three paragraphs, and here we need to match them according to their meaning. So picture number A. So here we have a woman. She is wearing a red dress, and maybe she is in a wedding day. Picture number two. So here we have a man. He is wearing a thaw with a kofia, and there is a board and some this. So maybe he is a teacher. Picture C. So here we have two women. One of them have an umbrella, and the other she is she have a purse. And maybe they are from Japan. So let's read the first paragraph and try to match it. Tom, who's the young man wearing the tunic? Is he your dad? Man had a rajul alladhi yartadi sutra. Hal huwa waliduk? So you have young, it is adjective. Kamal, no, it's my grandpa. Huwa jaddi. So my refers to Kamal. When he was a teacher, andama kana muallim. So the pronoun he refers, al-damir he yaud ala jaddi. That's the traditional Jordanian custom. Wa hadha huwa azzay al-urdani al-taqlidi. In the past, في الماضي, he didn't wear jeans. In the الماضي لم يكن يرتدي الجينز, jumpers, هي الجرزاي, or jackets, أو الجاكيتات. So he wore a tunic with long sleeves called a thaw. إذا كان يرتدي السترة مع أكمام طويلة وتسمى الثوب. So here we have or it is conjunction وهي أداة رابط. The pronoun he refers to grandpa, and here we have with it is preposition by a half jar long it is adjective. So, oh, and what's that on his head? وما الذي يوجد على رأسه? So his head. So the pronoun he refers to grandma, grandpa, إلى جدي. It's a kufiya, wa hiya al kufiya that people wore as a headdress. When nas kanu yafduha kagata li rats, that black thing, that black thing, shay al aswad around it, haula, it is an agal. Wa yu tsma al agal. It's a headband. Wa tsma headband al agal. So here we have wore. It is a regular verb. Head dress, it is compound noun, is in murakab. And here we have the pronoun, it refers to the head dress. Okay, it's a headband that keeps the kofiya from falling off your head. Then to have al kofiya means to pull min al ras. Do you know that some people so wear the traditional Jordanian custom? Hal ta'ala? أن ما زال من معظم بعض الناس يرتدون الزي التقليدي الأردني. توم ذات أميزيك هذا مدهش. سي سو فولينج أوف إت إز في ريزرفير وهي فعل مركب. هاند باند إت إز أولسو كومباوند ناو. سو ذيس بيكتور بي. أوكي جايز ناو ليتس موف تو سكند باراجراف. Now let's read this dialogue. Masaki, this is my mom and my aunt. 
So here we have the pronoun my refers to masaki. When they were young and dama kanu shabbat. So they refers to aunt and mom. Asma, which is your mom and which is your aunt? They're both wearing the same clothes. Masaki, my mom is the one holding an umbrella. Is an umma alladhi tahmil al magaliya. My aunt is the one which the poor purse. Is an umma alladhi yujad maha al mahvada al zarqa. They are wearing kimonos. Is an yathadun al kimonos. It's a long traditional Japanese robe. Is an wahua libas. Libas a Yabani Pawil with long sleeves Ma'akman Hual that you wear by wrapping it around your body. Walati Tabdadi Mukila Lafaha Haw al Jisim. Wow, traditional clothes are beautiful. So here we have holding it is gerund and blue it is adjective. And we have it refers to the road. So this picture with C. So this is the kimono. Oh guys, now let's move to the last paragraph. Selma, is the woman who is wearing the red dress your mother? Is it her mother already? ترتدي الفستان الأحمر والدتك. Oh no, that's a photo of my sister on wedding on wedding day. She's wearing a sari. إذا لا هذه صورة أختي في حفل زفافها والتي ترتدي الساري. She looks amazing. What's a sari? It is a traditional garment. إذا هذا إنها مدهشة ما هو السري؟ هل هو لباس تقليدي؟ Yes, but Indian women still wearing them today. نعم ونساء الهنديات ما زالوا يرتدونه اليوم. A sari is a long dress with a piece of material like cotton or silk that covers the shoulders. إذا السري هو عبارة عن فستان طويل مع قطعة من المادة like cotton or silk إما قطن أو حرير that covers التي تغطي the shoulders الأكتاف so here we have red it is adjective here refers to my sister or sister reading it is gerund and she referred to also sisters this T also refers to sisters, and here we have them referred to the India women. So this paragraph for picture number A. Okay, guys, now let's move to the meaning part. Number one, garment. Garment means al malabis. Number two. Tunique, tunique it means sutra. Number three, sleeves, sleeves it means alakmam. Number four, headdress, headdress it means qta al Number five, purse, purse it means mahvada. Number six, rabbing, rabbing it means yalif. Number seven, weeding. Weeding it means hafil zafaf. Number eight, silk. Silk it means harir. Number nine, cover. Cover it means qita. Number ten, shoulders. Shoulders it means al aktaf. Okay, guys, so you have to write them down in your notebook. Now let's move to the question part. Question number one. What did Kamal's grandpa work? Number two. What did Kamal's grandpa wear? Number three. What is a kumonos? 
describe about it. Number four, which country does wear a sari? Number five, what is a sari? Okay, guys, now you have to write them in your notebook and you have to answer them. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Assalamu alaikum.